Oh, well, well, what do we have here, fellas? Be still my beating heart. Look at this thing. This is a Ford F550 pickup truck. Does Ford make an F550 pickup truck? No, but liquid spring and elevation off-road do. If you're, we're at the Florida State RV show and this thing absolutely, my jaw dropped when I saw it. This thing has massive, massive uh, Michelin military style 355-80 R20 single in the rear and of course uh the massive matching wheel in the front huge winch bumper beautiful paint job and the coolest part about it is it's exclusive they the ford doesn't make i have an f450 they don't make a 550 it's got the lariat leather interior beautiful metallic paint job on here awesome graphics it's got these power steps that uh flip down to get inside of it and it's set up for heavy duty hauling now, if you note, there's a little extension on the front of the bed because the F550 has a four inch longer wheelbase than the F450. And it also has a much higher GVWR rating. You may, if you're a truck self-proclaimed self -proclaimed truck nut like I am, you'll know that the F450 has a smaller capacity for weight in the bed. F450 has a, 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 a less of a weight capacity in the back of the bed than an F350. I'll let the expert explain why in a minute, but take a look at this thing. This is a, my friend Ben Proach just bought one of these massive campers. And in fact, one bigger than this with a four foot overhang on the back to put on his F350. And it looks a little overloaded. With this F550, you're not even close to overloaded and you can still haul a trailer with a specialty hitch on it. Honey, come here for a second. Tell them about the uh, Lance Campers because I know you were, this is actually has more room than our 12 foot. Actually, it was the other one that we Yeah, were not this particular this one. one. But they, they, it ended up having more room than our camper. Because of the three slide rooms and yep. uh, uh, more headroom. So they're absolutely massive on the inside. And Christy was like, I, I could definitely uh, spend a lot of time in this one. You get a, a common owning own -in generator in it so you're fully self-contained and you can go when you talk about going off the grid you want to go to moab utah you want to go out in the desert you want to go to the freaking north pole this is the ultimate expedition vehicle and it's built on a ford chassis with a 6.7 liter engine all ford quality components the taillights the, the the bed are all oem ford michelin top of the line tires these you're never gonna you're never gonna get a flat tire with these things these are military tires and of course the heavy super exclusive front fender flares and buck stop huge winch bumper with a massive led lights this is a zombie apocalypse vehicle if i've ever seen one this is carl he's the owner of the suspension company liquid spring they have a, um a website you can check them out and uh i'll let him explain the technology behind the suspension system thank you for granting us an interview with you today absolutely tell us a little bit about liquid spring and your involvement with the, the truck construction absolutely so liquid spring is a company that's been around for well over 30 years started off in the mining equipment uh, heavy industrial and what it is it's a compressible liquid suspension system using a silicone fluid that has about a six percent compressibility so with that we get a spring rate so if we add in some electronics makes it make it smart we can use steering, speed, brakes, and height control information to change our spring rate. Basically, stability control in the suspension. All load leveling, so we can actually have it low like we are right now. Or, show you our low driver interface. Or we can oh, actually that. raise the vehicle up. Oh, you up. can adjust the, the, the ride height? Oh, wait, oh, I gotta film wow. this. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool. So the whole truck is actually going up. Watch the back door for people coming in and out. So, so if you're going off road and you want to raise it up higher, yes. So now, we would kneel down for the camping, and then we can have it. Uh, it's about four inches taller for drive height. What a massive difference! It's really, it's really. It looks like it's got a lift kit on it when you do that. Right? Wow, very cool. About a two and a half inch lift for the to clear the forty one inch tires. So. Even at the at the reduced uh, lower level, it's two and a half inches higher. Yes. So once you do the the four inch, you're now you're six and a half inches higher than a stock one, which is a pretty massive difference. And um, 
why does an F450 have less capacity than an F350? It doesn't make sense to most people, including right. me, but. So you have a gross vehicle weight rating. That's the most it can carry. So if you subtract what the vehicle weighs from the gross vehicle weight rating, that gives you your cargo capacity. An F450 has heavier tires and wheels and axles. So the vehicle base weight is more than the F350. So the cargo is less because their gross vehicle weight rating is the same. 10,000 pound rear axle weight ratings. Okay, and uh, why, why, the, uh, why, why, did, why would someone want the F550 off the F450? I think you might already answer that with, that with that statement, but what does this give you getting the F550 that you don't get with the 350 or the 450? So the F550 has a 14,700 pound rear axle versus the 10,000 pound that the F350 and 450 have. So, so what the, you're getting is a lot more capacity massive with this uh, vehicle and then the suspension itself is all load leveling it's a five link suspension system so you get a lot of good articulation so you can go off road with it um, the brakes look massive yes massive yes. brakes bigger axle heavier duty suspension Absolutely. and more capacity so if somebody wants to put one of these big campers on the back and tow a trailer full of dirt bikes or atvs or razors or jeeps out to the desert or exactly. to the north pole this is the vehicle, to do, the vehicle to do it in and it's ford quality absolutely and the 